Hey guys, Kate Kennedy here with the layout using the July Hip Kit. And for this layout, I'm going to start off with a piece of craft cardstock and the Distress Stain in Hickory Smoke, I believe it's called. It's the new gray color. And I really love using the Distress Stains for this like packaging technique. So I'm going to just apply some to a little bit of packaging and then spritz it with some water. You could use it just straight without diluting it with water but I thought it would be a little bit too intense and I really wanted it to have like a soft effect, I guess. So I'm going to apply that to my cardstock here and it kind of it looks like wings or something. It, it kind of went like in a weird shape. So I'm gonna add a little bit more to get it a little less symmetrical looking, but I'm just putting my photo there to see kind of the spacing I want a bunch of it like peeking, peeking out from behind the photo and I know I'm going to add some paper behind that so it needs to cover a little bit more area. So I'm going to do it another time with the same um, distress stain and adding some water. I'm just going to swirl that and then smush it. And if you get the big droplets like that, unless you want to leave them, you can just um, smush the packaging on top of the big droplets and it just, this is like the easiest way to watercolor. It's like faux watercoloring because it looks like you spent a ton of time and you really didn't. Now as you can see my paper warped and that's because I used my heat gun. If I let, let I've noticed that if I let things dry, air dry, they don't warp nearly as bad. So I've picked a few pattern papers from the kit and I've just cut like you know mats for them and I want to tuck my journaling behind all of that with this shipping tag. So what I'm going to do is cut a piece of white cardstock a little bit smaller than that biggest layer. I'm going to position the tag where I want it and then I'm going to add some adhesive around the tag and then put the piece of white cardstock on there essentially creating a pocket. And you could sew this or you know stitch it if you wanted to like all the layers together that would look really cool but I just kind of took the easy way out and used some glossy accents. And because I want to do a lot of journaling because this picture is was taken after the first time our dog Ellie went swimming in our pool. And she really liked it, but she also had like her, it wasn't her first bath, but like her first, I got dirty and needed a bath, which she's had several since then probably two or three a week because she loves to get in the mud and we live in Alabama and it in, in the summer it rains every single afternoon and she's a puppy so she has to go out like every 30 minutes and she just loves to roll around in the mud. Anyhow I'm going to take some of this chipboard from the crepe paper poolside collection and it's really funny because I ended up using two pieces that when I initially looked at this sheet of chipboard I was like I don't know how I'm ever going to use those which is that kind of like lifesaver flotation thing and then this diving girl I was like when am I ever you know going to use the diving girl well you just never know and I kind of clustered them all together and I really like the way that it looks and then I also added <clears throat> the gold chipboard that says poolside on the shipping tag so anyhow I wanted to do a bunch of Back to the, why I use the shipping tag, like hidden journaling thing, is because I wanted to do a bunch of journaling, but I didn't want it to be all over the layout. So I like to hide the journaling. No, I don't really like my handwriting in. I feel like it is distracting a little bit. So I just cut the top off of the snow cone because that was like another one. I'm like, I don't know how I'm going to use that. And so it has, it's like a half gold half circle in the top right hand corner there. And then I'm going to use a sticker from last month's kit. It's from the same collection, but it's from the 6x12 sticker sheet. I think it came in the Project Life kit. And it's just a little round circle that says July because I just, I liked it. And I'm determined to use up that 6x12 sticker sheet. I'm almost, I'm sorry if I'm muffling some, I'm almost done with it. So I'm very excited about that. So I'm going to apply the little chipboard cluster that I made with some hot glue and then I'm going to take these little paper strips from Simple Stories. I think they're the pink and white striped ones and I'm going to put one little strip on the bottom and one little strip on the top. 
I thought about mounting this layout on another piece of cardstock just to kind of smooth it out some, but I just like the way it looked with just the craft, like the way it looked with just the craft paper. So I'm going to um, take this little October afternoon roller, roller like phrase stamp, and I'm going to use some, I believe it's Studio Calico gray ink. I don't want to use black because there's no black on this layout, and I just really didn't want it to be too harsh. But then I go ahead and stamp the date in black because my roller date stamp, I never clean it, and it's covered in black ink, and I was like, I couldn't be bothered to clean it to use the gray, so... I just um, did like a generation stamping, you know, where I stamped it a few different times. So it eventually ends up being gray, even though it starts off as black. I'm just going to add a little wood veneer down there at the bottom. And I think, I think, I think that I think about adding some other things, but I only end up using some enamel dots or like enamel hearts and stuff, I believe. I don't think I add anything else. I can't quite remember. But this pretty much finishes up the layout. So I will have a bunch of close-up pictures to follow. And thanks, guys, so much for watching. Make sure to check out the Hip Kit Club and the August Kits. Ooh, they're awesome. And if you're thinking about subscribing, I'm going to have a little image at the very end of a coupon code that you can use to get a free pattern paper kit. So thanks again for watching, and here are the pictures. Talk to you later. Bye.